Hey guys, before we get started on this week's video, I would like to thank the guys that commented on last week's video in reference to my question that I had for you all. Uh, this week, we're going to go into something that this is kind of like a how-to video, I guess. Uh, so my Dodge pickup, when I would lock the door, sometimes it would go blip, blip, blip. It would beep the horn three or four times. And I thought that's kind of weird, you know, so didn't really pay it no mind. But here lately, uh, I'll be in the house, my keys will be in my pocket and it's out going beep, 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 just randomly. Uh, so I laid my keys on my dresser and it's still beeping the horn. Uh, I tore it apart and this is what I found. Now, I didn't get any video. You can still kind of see there's a little bit of black residue here, like a line of it. Um, but yeah, I had a whole bunch of black residue on my lock button. So if I lay this down and I lay this like that, you'll see that this top button here would have been for the panic button. The second button would have been for the unlock. And then the third button would have been for the lock. So this one was all corroded. Uh, when I looked inside here, I wanted to, you know, wipe that off and I used some isopropyl, whatever that is, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, and in doing so, I'll show you how much crap we got off of. And that was just off of that contact right there. So that was a lot of black stuff that was on there. And I thought, well, while I'm cleaning this up, I might as well clean that up. And that's where I found out where my problem was. So each one of these little dimples, uh, let me get the camera right. Each one of these dimples has a little metal disc like glued onto it. Here are those metal discs and they're not very big at all. Let me just put my thumb down there. To, as you can see, they are very small. So I thought, hmm, how in the world am I gonna glue those back in there? I need something that will stay pliable. So the only thing I could think of would be clear silicone. Uh, so I have orange wood sticks. I use these for a lot of different stuff, mixing up five minute epoxy. I didn't think five minute epoxy would work because it has to be pliable without breaking. And uh, you know, epoxy gets hard and it's not pliable. So uh, we're gonna set the camera up and man, this is gonna be awful tedious, but we're gonna try to put a little dab of silicone in the middle of each one of those little dots. And we're gonna put this little metal piece back on there and then we're gonna let that cure probably overnight. I am gonna wipe this down one more time just to see if I can get some more of that black residue off of there. Uh, but I'm sure that this key fob, <laughs> it's probably $200 or better. So we wanna get it fixed rather than uh, get it replaced. So we'll set you up and uh, here we go. Wow, that went a lot easier than what I was expecting it to. I figured that I would get that stuck on my finger and everything else. Um, so yeah, there, let's see if I can point to it. There is that little disc. We uh, just put a little bit of uh, silicone underneath of it. And as well as that one, we put a little bit of silicone underneath there. And then uh, I smeared the rest of it out onto this stick just so I could get an idea of when it gets tacky and when I can put this thing back together. Uh, but like I say, I'm going to take another new Q-tip and just kind of rub that off and make sure that we get all that uh, black stuff or corrosion off there. I'll probably clean this out a little bit with a Q-tip as well. And uh, then we'll throw this thing back together. All right, so we got this thing back together. Let's go outside and see if we can get it to work. The uh, truck's already locked. Let's see if we can unlock it. That works fine. Let's see if we can lock it. That works fine.
Well, apparently Redneck Manufacturing didn't do that one because that worked three times. We usually only get it to work once. Thank <laughs> you.